guys and welcome to my first video in my organizational series. Before I get into the organizational series, I wanted to have just a kind of a heart to heart chat with you guys about, um, about the way we organize and some of the psychological processes and things and you know, I've really been putting off this video for a long time. My husband keeps telling me, when are you gonna do organizational videos and things like that, and he's really been the supporter behind this YouTube channel. And honestly, like, it was hard. And um, I, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to open up about that. And I know that there are a lot of you out there that kind of feel the same way, and I thought that I would be a little bit more open. So, um, I have not always been an organized person and and I know that my friends now that you know come to the house and um, some of my coworkers and different things they're like oh my gosh she's so organized and um, and they might be shocked to think to know that I wasn't always that way um, and that's kind of one of the reasons um, that I didn't do the video because not not because of them but because people who've known me for a long time they have seen me struggle and it was kind of out of guilt like um like i don't want to i don't want to ever try to seem like i'm somebody i'm not and i didn't want people to think oh wow like she's she's not really that organized um so i don't know it was just a, it was just a lot and so um i wasn't sure if i would be open to sharing about it but i but i did but i am and i want to so one of my most difficult obstacles to overcome is living up to somebody else's standard and there's people in my life um that i have struggled my entire life to live up to their standard and um some of them have you know, I've been a part of my life forever, some of them are newer or whatever, but I never felt like I was good enough. <clears throat> and I, you know, and so you get to a point where you're like, well, if I can't, if I can't do it perfectly, if I can't be perfect, if I can't get everything done, why, why bother doing anything? And that's kind of to the point where I was before as, you know, I just got in that rut of, you know, you know, I just couldn't, I couldn't live up to certain people's standards. And I've come to a point in my life where, where I don't need their approval. I don't. And, and that is hard. Like, I don't want you to think that I take that lightly because I still, to this day, want their approval and I would still love to have their approval, but I have to understand that, um, it doesn't matter what I do. Like they're the type of people that um, that I'm never going to live up to. Like they're the kind of person that it doesn't it doesn't matter. And it's not just me. I don't I don't want you to think that. Like they're that way with everybody. I've seen them in my life um, talk about other people and um, either like jokingly or not jokingly, and um, that hurts me. And and please don't get me wrong, like, those people um, that I feel this way about, I genuinely love. And I genuinely, the reason I want their approval is because they are good people, and they're, they're not bad people, and, and they don't realize that they do this, and they, um, they are wonderful, and I respect them, and I love them, and that's why I've kind of wanted their respect, but, um, but I've came a long way, um, and a little background, um, I have a, I have a associate's degree in psychology, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and criminal justice, so, I mean, if I could struggle with this and, and have the education and knowledge behind me, I know other people can too, and so, that's, that's why I'm sharing, and so, those people in my life, I have to understand that this isn't about them. And this is about me and I have to do what's best for me and to bring this back like um, I, my mother was the best mom in the world and she's been gone for a while now she's been gone for several years and I miss her daily and she is the 
she was my my best friend and but she was not the best housekeeper my mom was involved in my life like she was involved in everyday aspects and she she was the best mom she was the best grandmother to my children and um so but mom liked stuff <laughs> mom liked to buy stuff mom liked to buy me stuff and um so my mom had a lot of clutter and um and i obtained a lot of clutter from my mom because she would just buy me stuff and and after she was gone it was really hard to get rid of anything that she had ever gave me for whatever reason and um i still i still don't get rid of anything that was that was hers i just kind of I store it away and make sure it's safe and kept up, but I don't, um, but I don't let it clutter up my house. And so there, I've, I of course have several sentimental pieces around my house that belong to my mom or were something that she gave to me and I love those and I love displaying those and that's, that's not the same thing. Um, but you know, as far as just clutter goes, like mom just didn't, um, she wasn't, she wasn't the best housekeeper. Her mother wasn't either. Now my step grandma um, that became my grandma and I loved her just as much. Like she, um, she was very organized, just meticulously organized. Um, but my mom wasn't and that was um, <laughs> the only bad thing I could ever say about my mom, <laughs> you know, and, and she knew it too, she would say it too. So um, I kind of, you think that you're like, that you should just know how to clean like that you you're just born knowing how to keep house like that's what girls do like they know how to be moms and they know how to clean and while being a mom came naturally to me and i, I loved my kids and 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 i love having kids and being a mom like cleaning didn't it just didn't and i didn't know how to do it and um, my mom never showed me i didn't have to do a lot of chores growing up um and um, I was the baby and I just, I just never learned how to keep house. I just didn't. And so it's been a struggle. And, um, but it's been one that I wanted to learn. And again, back with the, I never could get it magazine quality. And I never could get it like, you know, just that immaculate, you know, um, cleanness that, you know, either you see in magazines and stuff. And so... I just felt like a failure if I couldn't have it that clean <laughs> and I would start on a project or whatever and be like I would get overwhelmed and be like why bother and so you know that's kind of where it all started from and now and then we lived on a farm for many years and not a lot of people came to visit us and so um, it didn't you know in our early years it didn't have to be clean and so um, because there was nobody coming and the people that did come didn't care <laughs> so um, so yeah but I over the last several years I've kind of fell in love with organizing and YouTube videos on organizing and cleaning and I will say there is no secret there's no secret pill. There's no, there's no magic. There's no magic system that's going to make it all work. And, um, you know, I've went through several things and I've read several books and I've always been like, oh my gosh, like this is the system that's going to work for me. And then I change my mind and it doesn't work or I keep up with it for a little while and then it doesn't. And I really, um, I will say that the only system that has worked and it's the age long quote, like this isn't nothing new guys is the idea of a place for everything and everything in its place. And that has been kind of my quote to live by because honestly, I can look back and see that every problem that I've ever had with organizing and cleaning is that things didn't have a permanent home. They, they didn't. And so you move things from here to there or from the island to the sink or, you know, around your room or whatever. Like things just didn't have a permanent home. And when things don't have a permanent home, they go everywhere. Or if they're just stashed in a closet, you know, you can't, you can't organize clutter. And so if you have things just in boxes and you need one thing, then, then it gets pulled out and you just can't organize clutter. It's, if everything doesn't have a permanent home, it's bound to get messy again. And, and by permanent, like, I mean, like, I mean, that's its home, 
but as your needs change, sometimes that permanent home can change. So don't think that just because this is here right now and this is it's the only place it can be. That's that's not it. Like as your needs change, you know, um, for years I did cake decorating and it was a need of mine to have my cake pans out readily available because I use them all the time. Now that I work full time, um, uh, I don't... I, I don't have as much time to cake decorate now. I do, I do love it and I still do it, but they don't have to be a, as accessible as they did. And so there is a specific spot in my pantry, you know, tucked away that's easy to get to, but not where they're constantly getting, getting out, um, so to speak. So that's kind of, you know, um, you know, and, and I'll take you guys in there and show you guys um, throughout this series. But my main video, my main point for this video is that, you know, we constantly live up to other people's standards and the, I have to learn, I, and I'm still learning, like it's not something that like, oh, ta-da, I've learned. No, my house is clean and, you know, those that come here will tell you that it, it always looks the same, whether you, whether you show it up, up unexpectedly or whether I know that you're coming. The only difference is, is you know, I might make sure that my five-year-old hasn't taken off his pants in the middle of the living room floor um, if I know you're coming. But other than that, um, other than that, like it, it pretty much looks the same, you know. Um, does it get messy? Sure, we live here. You know, we don't not live here. Like, your house is going to, we live here, we eat here, we wear clothes, we, we all have laundry, we all have dishes. You know, they get done on a daily basis now, and that's something that didn't get done before. And I work a lot of hours, and so it has been an adjustment. And I think that our schedules are always adjusting, you know, throughout life from when our time for our kids are little until the time that they're a little bit bigger, you know. I know that my needs back when my kids were in diapers are different now that my kids are in school, and they will be a Again, different as they, you know, one of them is a teenager, but, you know, as they get older, like, they will constantly change, and so will my organization, but um, that's to be expected, and so my, kind of the, just to wrap all of this up, I just really want you guys to, you know, be part of this process with me. I do have a brand new house, and I look forward to organizing it with you guys. Um, I really had to learn organization when we moved into a duplex. Um, we went from a fairly large house, you know, just on average size house, to a two-bedroom duplex that was tiny, and um, it didn't have any organization at all, like it were like it is any like storage spaces, and I had to be very organized there, and it was a struggle. But for the most part, you know, things I, I kept up on I kept up on things because I had to, and so some of those organizational like those habits like really definitely have carried over. Now we live in a an extremely large house, and I'm very blessed, and so. Um, uh, you know, and I've kind of kept those habits going here, but I want you to be part of the process because I'm still learning and although my house is much cleaner and I'm kind of a little OCD about things being clean and and things like that now than I than I was, um, you know, I'm still I'm still like learning the systems and I'm still looking for that home for everything and um, I've already organized my pantry two or three times because it continually it continues to get messy and that's kind of the um, the red flag that the organization system isn't working if it keeps getting messy it's not working and so um you should be able to uh, i mean of course you know you're gonna have to do maintenance like you're gonna have to clean things you're gonna have to pick up things you're gonna have to you know do those daily things but for the most part it should it should stay the same you know a, 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 as long as you keep up with it and the pantry really hasn't my needs have changed and what i thought i wanted to do with it isn't really what i want to do with it now and so yeah but that's okay because um it, it is clean it's just um it's just a more of a work in progress and so now i'm kind of working on organizing it and after i 
get a system or maybe as I get a system I'll take you through that um, I have several great systems in place I have a great system for my youngest son's clothes I lay out his clothes every single week <coughs> excuse me on Sunday and so um, I'll take you I want to show you that I want to share that with you and I want to share with you the joys and the struggles and that's kind of what this video um, channel is going to be about um, um, I know I've, I post a lot of couponing and money saving things and, and that's going to be a big part of it, but I really want to do organizational videos and just life, you know, because that's, that's what it's about guys. And, um, and, and in my quest to be more open and, um, and share with you on this channel, that's what I'm going to do. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoy my organizational series. I look forward to sharing with you. Um, I, I would love your suggestions and your comments. And like I said, I'm still learning. So if you have suggestions as I'm going through this and I'm organizing different things, if you're like, hey, this has worked for me or that didn't work for me, leave me a comment below. We, we can learn this, um, this together and do this journey together, guys. So um, it's great um, to share with you guys. I look forward to, to doing that and thanks for watching my video. If you're struggling with organization, I hope that maybe from this messy person to very organized person now, um, which my husband says that all the time, uh, that I'm so organized, um, but you know, that you can, you can change and you can become organized. It is, it is not some people are born with it and some people aren't but we can learn and so that's what we're going to do we're going to learn together because life is about learning and um i look forward to the journey with you guys thanks guys